I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Venn Diagrams. In this video, we will learn how to shade a Venn Diagram and how to read a shaded Venn Diagram. So that is the exercise which we are going to do. So I have taken up uh, two Venn Diagrams here which you need to shade. So the question here is, on each of the Venn Diagram below, shade the region which represents the given set. The set given to you is written under the Venn diagram A intersection B union complement of C. The second one here is complement of A intersection with union of B and C. Right. So, so that is what it is. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now, once you do the shading, after that, we have the other question, which is, we have already shaded two Venn diagrams here, where set A, B, and C are shown, and that is the shaded portion. Now, the question is, given sets A, B, and C, as shown in the Venn diagram, name the shaded area in each of the following. So, have a good look at it, and try to name the shaded area. Perfect. Okay, so let's begin with the first question now. I hope you have seen both of them very clearly. And now let's see how to shade and how to read the shaded portion. Rather, let's begin with this one itself. Okay. Now in the first one, let's call this as lowercase a and let this be set b. The shaded portion shown to you here is completely that c right and a portion of b the portion of b which is shaded does not include a so how can you write this so clearly we have the set c all together with union of what we have here is something which is outside a but inside b right so it is outside a and inside b so i could write this as a complement that means outside A and intersects with set B so intersection with B does it make sense to you right so that is how you could name the shaded portion in the given Venn diagram A now in B how will you name it we have complement of A everything outside A has been shaded right so so clearly, it's union of complement of A with something inside. And what is this inside shaded? Now, inside does not include C, but it includes everything in B, not C, right? So it should be not including C, right? So it is basically intersection of not C, but B, right? So it is intersection of not C, and B. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you could name it. So have a good look at it. Try to understand how do we write the shaded portion in the given Venn diagram. Correct? So I hope this part is absolutely clear. And now let's take up the first question which was to shade. Let's try to shade the region asked for. The first one is a intersection B union not C. So union not C means everything outside C will be shaded for sure, right? So, so clearly everything outside C means without thinking, let me shade all this, which is outside C, right? That is my first thing to do, safe, right? So this is all outside C because it is union complement of C, right? So outside C, I am shading everything. Perfect. Now, it is union with A intersection B. So where is A and B intersecting? So I have already taken a portion of A intersection B. Now this is the portion left. This is A, right? And that one is B. So this portion is already taken so this is left so i'm going to uh, shade this portion also so that is intersection 
of A and B. Of course, this is also intersection of A and B. So A intersection B is this whole band here and outside C is all that. Perfect. So that is how we are going to share it. Is it clear to you? Right. So that is how we do it. Now the next one here is outside A. Right. So outside A complement of A but intersecting with union of B and C. So outside A intersecting with union of B and C that means now we cannot take anything inside A. Right. It is intersection with union of B and C. So union of B and C is everything here, right? So this portion here should be the portion, correct? So B and C union and outside A. So that is the portion which we are going to shade, correct? So in this case, that is the result. So I hope now the concept of shading in the Venn diagram is absolutely clear, right? So does it make sense to you? So we have A, B union C, which is everything, but intersecting with outside, a complement of A. So nothing inside A gets shaded. So this portion of B union C, which was inside A, has not been shaded. Perfect. So that is how you are going to shade the Venn diagrams. Right. So now let me give you a test question here. Uh, for you with only two Venn diagrams. So we'll have uh, two Venn diagrams A and B. I mean two sets in the Venn diagram A and B. So this is my set A and this is my set B. What you need to shade here is intersection of not A and not B. Right. So this is what you need to shade and that is your test question. Perfect. So I hope that is not difficult for you. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And I hope with this, your concept of shading in the Venn diagrams for the given sets is absolutely clear. Thanks for watching and all the best.